JL flight controllers coming up on order sequence. Booster, how are you? Where's go flight? Down. Go flight. TNT. Go flight. Go down. Go flight. Control. Go. Network. You got it this down. is Go Flight, Episode 2. I'm your flight director, David Jackson. Go Flight is your source for space flight history, little known facts, and current space flight news. First, let's look at what's going on in space flight news. NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida announced proposals for private companies who want to use its vehicle assembly building. High Bay 2 is available for integration and testing of launch vehicles. In addition to this, the Kennedy Space Center has three mobile launcher platforms available for reuse in commercial space flight operations. This announcement supports Kennedy's transformation to a multi-user spaceport utilizing assets identified in the center's 20-year master plan. The Kennedy Space Center says that making unique capabilities like the VAB available to commercial companies is yet another step in our evolution to a diverse spaceport that supports government and commercial partners. The Space Launch Systems relies on the VAB assembly and integration, but High Bay 2 will be available in 2016 for commercial users and we want to fully explore who might have a need for massive integration facilities at Launch Complex 39. The VAB is a unique facility that can stack rockets as high as 450 feet using 325 ton cranes. The facility is located near heavy lift launch pads along the eastern ridge and has connectivity to Kennedy's integration, checkout, and launch infrastructure. High Bay 2 is located on the west side of the facility. Kennedy has transformed from a government-focused launch base to a multi-user spaceport that can accommodate different vehicles, systems, and commercial launch providers. It continues to evolve to support changing markets. Let's move to our hardware section. We're going to discuss the power supplies used for the Apollo moon mission. The alkaline fuel cell, known as, get this, Foster Luria, the bacon fuel cell, after its British inventor, is one of the most developed fuel cell technologies. NASA has used alkaline fuel cells since the mid-1960s in the Apollo series missions and the space shuttle. AFCs consume hydrogen and oxygen and produce potable water, heat, and electricity. They are among the most efficient fuel cells made, having potential to reach 70% efficiency. Today's Apollo astronaut profile, Alan Laverne Bean, the fourth man to set foot on the moon. Alan Bean was born March 15, 1932 in Wheeler, Texas. Al Bean was the lunar module pilot for the Apollo 12 mission. Neil and Buzz did it first, but these guys did it with gusto. Al completed two moonwalks with crewmate Pete Conrad and performed lunar surface experiments and the installation of the first nuclear-powered generator station on the moon. Becoming an astronaut in 1963, Bean was part of the third group of astronauts selected for missions. He served as backup command pilot for Gemini 10 and backup lunar module pilot on Gemini 9. Bean has more than 1,671 hours of spaceflight. He also has over 10 hours of EVA and has flown 27 different aircraft. He also helped establish 11 world records in aeronautics and space. Al is also an artist, challenged by other astronauts to paint his experiences on the moon and share them with the world. Al resigned from NASA in 1981 to devote his skills and energy to painting. Alan is an extremely talented artist. You can check him out at alanbean.com. And that's all there is today. So from here at Mission Control, have a great rest of your day. And remember, when in doubt, set SCE to OX.